Let's see what's going on. I guess you know more people in Washington calling for his resignation. They say he should quit now and avoid embarrassment. But enough about the coach of the Washington Redskins. Now, why are we even, why are we even talking about that? Redskins not doing, what is it, 0-5? Ooh, that's Something bad. like that. In fact, the, the Redskins are so embarrassed now, a lot of the players have unlisted numbers on their jerseys. Now, they want to be just so, so when you look, you can't really tell who. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, I guess you know Friday, uh, White House spokesman Mike McCurry, he, uh, last day on the job, he stepped down. He said he was leaving to spend more time with his wife and family. Well, people always say that when they resign, don't they? They want to spend more time with their wife and family. I guess we don't have to worry about Bill Clinton resigning anytime soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, not many. Oh, yeah. How many? Oh, yeah, how many? Woo. Yeah. How about 52 weeks at Martha's Vineyard? How oh, boy, that would be a... <laughs> yeah, just go down to the old gift shop every day. <laughs> well, actually, next Sunday, Bill and Hillary celebrating their 23rd wedding anniversary. <laughs> they have been happily married now for two years. <laughs> Ooh, that should be some celebration. Ooh, what do you, what do you buy? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess First Lady Hillary Clinton hiked along the Maryland Trail today to promote the development of hiking trails across the nation. Yeah, yeah. See, she finally wants to make sure when she finally tells Bill to take a hike, he's got a place to go. That's basically the idea. There. Oh, I'm reading today, you know. You know, it's great. You ever read, uh... You ever read these psychics in the newspaper? I'm reading this guy, this, this psychic. Frank St. James of Montclair, New Jersey, he's in the paper today, says that Hillary will divorce Bill by the year 2003. Duh. I mean, do I need a psychic to tell me this? <laughs> I think Bob from accounting could have come up with this. Like, oh, they go, ooh, come on, you're one of your nuts. But some good news for President Clinton. According to a recent poll, 73% of the American public Say adultery should not be considered a crime. No. no. Woo! Let me ask you a question. <laughs> now, how do you think God likes the idea of running all these commandments past the pollsters, huh? <laughs> Didn't we try this once before? Hey, God, you know, over 80% of the people in Sodom and Gomorrah feel. <laughs> oh, get off. Back off. Back off. Oh, all right. Take me. Oh, back off. Back off. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's what about. Well, you know what's interesting about all of this? In an interview in USA Today, the Jesuit priests who taught Bill Clinton at Georgetown University back in the 60s, they say they were so impressed by his potential, they actually asked him to join the priesthood. Now, that would be great, wouldn't it? Having, having Bill Clinton as your priest, huh? <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Well, that depends on your definition of sin. <laughs> there are many ways. Really? I'm okay? I'm free? Well, here's some more juicy gossip from the uh, White House scandal. Now it seems Monica Lewinsky has reportedly been dumped by her new boyfriend. You know she had a new boyfriend, a doctor in Australia? Guy dumped her. Yeah. But don't worry about Monica. Believe this is one girl who always winds up on her knees. No way, so she always has to, you know, always lands on her knees. Lands, her, lands on her lands knees. Her lands knees. on her knees. Okay. Right, she winds up, winds up lands on, her, on her, knees. her knees. Screw up the joke. <laughs> Uh, now, according to the Washington Post, do you know about this? Monica Lewinsky people have called five publishers trying to get a book deal. You know about this? Trying to get $10 million. Apparently, she has written a book about her affair with President Clinton. In fact, Joy, do you have that? Here, you've probably seen this in the bookstores. It says, President Clinton and other things on the tip of my tongue by Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> All over here. It's a fascinating story. It seems another White House uh, intern. You know about this? It seems, well, like, actually, a former, a former White House intern has been arrested for stalking George Stephanopoulos. Do you get the feeling the White House has the same strict psychological screening policy for interns that Montana has for people that want to buy shacks? <laughs> oh, man, no problem. Well, let's see. Oh, here's, here's something that amazed me. Now, Kev, you're a vegetarian. See if yeah. you can get this. All right. According to a recent survey, the number one vegetable in America, anybody know? Don't, Kev, what do you say? Potato. Close. French fries. <laughs> French fries are the number one vegetable in America. I was close. You know the number two vegetable in America? Anybody know? Al Gore. Al Gore. <laughs> Well, 
Well, here's your tax dollars at work, folks. I don't understand this. This is, a, I, you know, I checked this story and rechecked it. You know the Pentagon spending $50 million this year on Viagra. <laughs> yeah, on Viagra. <laughs> Look at this woman, the red, white, and blue right here. You get a shot of that. That's a, that's a true patriot. Yeah. Have, have you got, do you carry Viagra with you? <laughs> well, there you go. Here you go. Well, this is, actually, the shirt works just fine for me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's true. The Army spent $50 million on Viagra. So apparently, they're not doing as much before 9 a.m. as they'd like you to think, apparently. <laughs> Actually, typical government spending. Do you know how many Viagra pills the Pentagon gets for their 50 million? Anybody know? Three. <laughs> it's called Operation Fix Bayonet, I believe is the name of it. <laughs> well, it's all part. It's all part of the new policy. Don't ask, don't tell, don't stop! Pretty much. <laughs> and over the weekend, uh, I'm very proud, my hometown. 40,000 people from all over the country attended a rally on the Boston Common in Boston, Massachusetts to legalize... Yes. 40,000 people showed up to try and legalize marijuana. And today, 35,000 of these people are still looking for their cars in the parking lot. That's good. That's good. Let's do that. And today in Royal Oak, Michigan, the trial of Dr. Jack Kevorkian. You know, Dr. Jack, the suicide cat, the Johnny Appleseed of death. Yeah! <laughs> He's going on trial again. We keep putting this guy on trial. He's accused of resisting arrest this time. You know, why would Kevorkian resist arrest? I mean, prison, they have, what, the gas chamber? They got the death row. You got the electric. It's like Disneyland to this guy. Why you, I mean, what, what could be more fun for him than to just hang out? Oh, Cadillac. How about this? Cadillac coming out of, with a sports utility vehicle. Uh -oh. Cadillac. Yeah. Apparently, this is for pimps that like to go camping, apparently. Hey, get that deer out of the road. Get that deer out of the road there. Beep, beep. <laughs> so, I just... It holds compact discs or videos. We used to call these bookshelves when I was a kid. <laughs> See, now they, now they, it holds videos, things that look like books. Put that over there. <laughs> Here's an interesting headline, you know. I was stunned when I read this. Fall, it's a great time to get ready for winter. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> you know, I find spring is too late. <laughs> and, of course, summer, uh, whew, it's so early. Yet, autumn, autumn... <laughs> you can tell it's been a real slow news week. Now, here's a fascinating headline by Harrison Metzger. Rooms with broken air conditioners are hot. <laughs> uh, now, look at this here. Look at the headline. It says, San Diego hopes to sell recycled toilet water. <laughs> my favorite part in the body of the article it says public relations firm hired overcoming public perceptions about drinking sewage is the hard part city officials acknowledge you know look if we can if we can just get people past that past the myth of clear water there you go amazing results with just two visits look at the before okay now look at after oh what an improvement that is huh? look at that <laughs> <laughs> it's the London Dental School. God, you'll come here and get a lump of sugar with every checkup. In Georgia, Carrie, and I want to show you the map. You know, it's fascinating. As you know, New Hampshire is our biggest state. Can you go in, Ellen? Show them New Hampshire. There, as you can see, you wonder why. <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> I just, look at that, I love this guy. It says, workshop helps pairs pave the path to marriage. That guy looks thrilled, doesn't he? He just looks... <laughs> he just looks, yeah, this But take it easy, Bill! Look at this. Sugar makes a great entree or side dish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the kids may get a little worked up, but that's what you got the riddling for.
to this ad. Look what my unique vitamin formula has done for my hair at 50. Oh, yeah, it looks... And it looks so natural. It really has. Hmm. All right, all right. I don't even understand this. It says four-tier shelving unit. You see that? Now, look at the really tiny, fine print. Shelves not included. So what do you get? Well, what are you getting? <laughs> Here you go. Talk about cutbacks. Earth, wind, and fired to perform outdoors. Okay, earth, wind, fired! All right, earth and wind. They're really cutting back. Too many bandits. Just earth tomorrow night. Isn't it? Here's something interesting about jail. Inmates critical of capital punishment. <laughs> you know, before I was on death row, I used to be for capital punishment. <laughs> now I'm against it. Now, I think I know what this man means. Just a poorly written sentence. Now when I walk, I set a faster pace than my wife. I got rid of the misery. <laughs> arthritis seminars. Well, I guess his wife is thrilled with that. Ow, oh, this is like scary. Look at this. Save vet fees by learning how to neuter your cat with just a round pointed shovel. <laughs> I think Hillary Clinton sent away for this, if I'm not mistaken. I guess you can always bury the cat with a shovel if it doesn't work. Oh, here's a creepy one. Oh, 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 what is this all about? I, I, I'm tempted to call this number. Someone willing to share one sheep. <laughs> it's Tina's microwavable burritos. Look at that. <laughs> I want you to look carefully at this. It's the Rock Cats, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look at the first girl. And look at the second girl. And look at the third girl. You know, this cloning thing has really taken over America. It's pretty much... If there's just one Rockette, and they just keep cloning over and over again. Uh, what else we got here? Uh... This is why the police have a hard job. Officers were asked to attend to a dead eagle on Highway 47 with six to seven babies still alive. When officers arrived, they found it to be a pair of pants with the pockets pulled out. <laughs> Okay. Now, in their defense, I understand what they were trying to do in this ad. I understand this is one person doing push-ups. Perhaps this is not the best demonstration. There's doing push-ups. <laughs> you know, it's not the, not the best. <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. This one. Oh, this, these poor people. Here you go. Uh, this is a Maury and... A Mer uh, Marie and Corey Shaw, and a bride's maiden name, blah, blah, blah. Like a whole list of things. Look at the bottom. How did, you, how did he or she pop the question? In the Vancouver ferry line up to Victoria, it was supposed to be on the ferry, but Marie started asking questions when she noticed a bulge in Corey's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you've had a headline. Send a care of the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue. at NBC.com. Be right back with the one, the only... Back.